And I feel we need to get ourselves a new cheerleader because I think, I have a minor impression that our last one wasn't too fond of the job. Um, so let's go with it dips scummy blue. It is gonna be you, lady with the glasses. <laughs> what's your what's your name, Mum? Juliet. Juliet. Juliet, cracking name. Uh, Juliet, what do you do? You do you nurse? Yeah. You nurse like a badass. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Juliet, what, uh, let's do some trivia, uh, if you could pick any superpower, what would your superpower be? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we all really know the answer, don't we? Like, we know super, superpowers don't exist, uh, we know that that's a silly concept, but as human beings in this room, I can guarantee that every one of us has checked. We've all looked at an item and gone, Nope, not today. Nah, not really. <laughs> Juliet, have you thought of a superpower? Juliet's friends, have you got a superpower you could give to Juliet? Time travel. Time travel. Juliet, would you have much use for time travel? Why not? Why not? A lot of regrets from Juliet, a lot of regrets. <laughs> Lots of stuff she wants to go and fix. Cool. Okay, Juliet, uh, we are going to clap from the back of the room. And once it gets to you, you are going to go wild, and that's going to be the front of the room's cue to actually go mental. We're all going to join in. We're going to work on our next time. This is Martin David. Okay, are you ready, Juliet? <laughs> she says no, but her eyes say I was born ready. This is my moment. Uh, Juliet's friends, yeah, get to stand up. Go on. Can you smell what the peer pressure's cooking? Okay, we're going to. Get, everyone get your hands like this, and then slowly put it together. Julia, 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 Literally doesn't stop till you stand up. Literally doesn't stop till you stand up. Hey! Okay guys, Julia, get yourself up on your feet. Start banging your hands above your head, and we're all going to join in. And welcome on our next act, Mr. Martin Davis! Good evening. <laughs> Cheers, Julia. We got there in the end, didn't we? <laughs> Couldn't decide what to wear for tonight, so I went with the regional snooker player. <laughs> Ooh, and he pops the black. <laughs> yeah, I had a funnier joke than that, but I thought I'd save it to the end. Um, yeah. Are there any Sagittarius's in the room? <laughs> At the back, staying together. Like it. Kind of like, that's what centaurs do, running herds. Yeah, uh, when were you born? Next week. You were born next week? Well, that's fucking impressive. <laughs> I mean, since this is like a preview of your life. <laughs> next week, wow. <laughs> I have a theory about um, people that are born in this. But carry on laughing, it's fine. I mean, it's kind of what I'm here for. But... Yeah, I've got a theory about people that are born in December. You have tight parents. Stay with me, I'll explain. Basically, when your parents decided, I want to have kids, they thought, oh, it's a bit of a rough time, you know, having kids, they're expensive. Let's aim for December, and we're going to have to get them one present a year. Or not. Yeah. Um... Uh, uh, one second. You alright? Hello. <laughs> yeah, I know where I was going for that. Uh, my dad was born in December, uh, which is weird because I was born nine months later, so, you know, my birthday present, or Christmas present, but you know. <laughs> he, uh, he did ask for the receipt back though, so, uh, yeah, that was, uh, yeah, sorry. Amnesia's a bitch. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, my name's Martin, as um, Dave probably said. There's two ways to spell Martin. There's M-A-R-T-I-N, and then there's the wrong way, which is the Welsh spelling. Thanks. Uh, if you could just make everyone else laugh, that would be really helpful, I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, there's the Welsh way to spell Y-N, and, you know, I don't really trust the Welsh, because they're like, oh, because I live actually quite near Wales, down in Somerset, and they... <laughs> That's not the joke. <laughs> I live in Somerset. Hilarious, isn't it? 
Yeah, uh, near Somerset, and so there's a quite a lot of Welsh people kicking around back down there. And they often spell my name wrong with the YN, and I always say, spell my name wrong. It's like, no, we spell it the right way. And I'm like, listen, if you're from Wales, you know, when Wales get independence, you can spell Martin however the fuck you like. But Scotland didn't get it, and I don't think you're going to get it either. <laughs> Amnesia's a bitch. <laughs> yeah, but names are, uh, names are great things, actually. I've got a mate called, uh, called Oscar, and when I first met him, is there an Oscar in? You are just... Oscar, it's a great name. Uh, yeah, his name is Oscar, and his fun fact is that he's got, uh, you know, quite a lot of people that have got dogs called Oscar, which kind of explains why he stops at every lamppost, really. <laughs> yeah, you got there in the end. You were like, oh, um. Yeah, and um, as a joke, uh, we bought him, me and my mate, we bought him a collar and a lead once, and we gave it to him, and we all got drunk. Oh, it's hilarious, isn't it? It's funny if you were there. But uh, I then forgot about the, uh, the collar and lead. I left it in my, uh, in my bedside table, which, you know, where else would you keep a dog lead? <laughs> uh, but I also keep in my, in my uh, bedside table, I also keep in there condoms, which, you know, easy place to store them. But when I moved out, my dad had found the condoms and the collar and lead. He hold one, one up in the other hand and one up in the other hand, two pounds. Uh, and um, he just basically looked at me and said, Martin, what the <laughs> but yeah, yeah, my uh, my family are great. They make me laugh all the time. Uh, my sister was uh, she's gay and she's got a girlfriend, which gay girls do, I suppose. And um, <laughs> I, well, there's been quite a lot of gay jokes about Griner, and I don't feel like you know, like, did you know gay people have sex with each other? <laughs> Uh, James clapping then. James, are you gay? I didn't think you mentioned it in your set, did you? You're a lesbian? No, I always knew it. That's why you turned me down. Yeah, uh, my sister's got a girlfriend, but she's the... Shut up, James. Uh, you may be the chairman, but I've got the fucking microphone now. At least until the microphone spud fucking... Yeah, I know you turned it off then for that reason. No, that was, uh, that was funny. Yeah, my sister's got a girlfriend. Um, <laughs> if, I, if all I have to say is that was funny for you to tell, I mean, that's fair enough. Um, yeah, my sister's got a girlfriend. That's three girlfriends. She's come back because I said that so many times. Yeah, she's got a girlfriend. And I told my mate uh, this. Uh, my sister's got a girlfriend. She's uh, 13 years younger than her. And, um, but they know that I've got two sisters. And they thought I meant the younger sister who was 15. <laughs> yes, I have a lesbian paedophile sister. That was the logical assumption. But yeah, uh, I do have an end to this. There it is. Uh, yeah, um, well actually no, I just kind of want to move around a bit because I know the guy at the camera at the back just gave him a bit of a... Oh shit, this camera <laughs> Didn't think that one through. Yeah. That's Dave when he gets mugged. Yeah, um, Yeah, and also, I seem to be the only person that doesn't try and bring uh, Disney songs into sex, you know, Simba and that. Feel free to shout out again. Uh, you know, that wasn't fun, yeah. Um, yeah, but I don't try and bring Disney songs into sex, so uh, basically, I was on YouTube as you were the other day. This is kind of related, I'll get there in a minute. I hope you take it next, there will be a test afterwards. Yes. Um, yeah, they're not going to laugh a lot of laughs for a while, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was on YouTube uh, the other day, and I was looking at the uh, Let It Go song, Frozen. I'm not gay, James. I'm not gay. <laughs> the evidence is mounting. Um, yeah, I was looking at the, and there's loads of parodies to it. You might have seen them. And uh, I, found, uh, I found something which was quite distressing, and I'm going to leave you with it, because, well, I think my time's up, probably. Uh, yeah, there's a uh, parody to this song, Let It Go, and it's about menstruation. Uh. <laughs> it's called Let It Flow. I've been Martin David. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have a great evening, guys.